Okay, this particle has been fired at a certain velocity and angle theta to the horizontal on flat ground. We can work out the horizontal part using v cos theta and the vertical part using v sin theta. And as it goes uh, through the air, it's under the influence of gravity, which is pulling it in the vertical down vertical downward direction. So only the vertical component of the velocity is decreasing until it basically becomes zero. So the vertical part becomes zero, but the horizontal part is still uh, the same constant. And then it accelerates in the negative direction. See that until it's moving. And if there was no resistance, I should be moving at the same speed as it left uh, on the on the right hand side or the left hand hit side here but it'll be moving at um, the downward direction instead of um, going towards the top right our golfer hits the ball at 17 meters per second at 60 degrees above the horizontal find the maximum height of the ball so for this part we're only interested in, interested in the first half of the journey we're not interested in the whole journey so i'm going to set up suvats for the first half so S is what we're trying to find, how high it went. U is 17 sine 60. That's the vertical speed, which is approximately 14.7 meters per second upwards. V. So when it gets to point X, its vertical speed is going to be zero. It's under the influence of gravity for the whole time. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the information here as well, which is its uh, horizontal speed is 17 cos 60 which is 8.5 meters per second okay so if, uh, but first case you know, what we should do is we should try to find the maximum height so, yes, so we can use in this question here we can use v squared u equals u squared plus 2as so 0 squared which is 0 14.7 squared plus 2 times minus 9.81 times s okay and if we rearrange this we will get s equals minus 14.7 squared over 2 times 9.81 minus 9.81 which gives us 11 meters so we went 11 meters into the air okay determine the horizontal uh, distance traveled by the ball so we need to set up a different set of suvats for this one um, but the initial upward velocity is the same and it's still under the flows of gravity and horizontal speed is actually still 17 cos 60 which is 8.5 Okay, so what we're trying to find in this question is the horizontal. But the thing is, we can't find that until we get the time. We can get the time from this part here. And uh, what the question is asking here is, we're doing the whole journey. So the vertical displacement, it goes upwards and then it comes back down. So the vertical displacement is zero. So the equation we need to use without the V in it is s equals ut plus half a t squared s equals 0 14.7 times t plus half times 9.81 times t squared we can divide both sides by a single t and if we rearrange this we should get time equals 3.00 seconds so now this time we can put here because it was in the air for the same amount of time 3.00 seconds and then using v equals s over t so s is equal to vt 8.5 times 3 gives us 25 meters Ball kicks a football at the speed of 30 meters per second at an angle of 25 degrees uh, above the horizontal. The goal is 37 meters away from where he's kicking it. The top bar is 2.4 meters above the ground. Determine if he scores the goal. Okay, so we're going to set up super equations here. So we're going to get the vertical and horizontal speeds first. 
So vertical speed is um, 30 sine 25. Um, and then horizontal speed is going to be 30 cos 25. Okay, we actually, in this question, because we, we're trying to figure out what it's, the height of the ball is at this point here, at this distance here, the number that we need to use is 37, which is how far it should be going after, well, just before it hits the goal. We want to find what height it is at this point. So we need to find the height at this point to see if it goes above the bar or below the bar. So we need to find that. To get that, we need... Uh, well, to get this, we need to also have a 9.81 9 here. Um, and we should we need the time as well. So we can do the time from here. So we can do um, S equals a VT. So in this case, what we can do is rearrange that to give us T equals S over V. And if we put those numbers in, what we'll find is we'll get 1.361 seconds. We can use that same number over here because it's in the same for the same amount of time. Um, and then what we can do now is find the equation without the v in it. So that's s equals ut plus half at squared. If we put the numbers in. That's ut, and then add on the half times minus 9.81. Making sure you're careful with this mi minus there. And if you evaluate that, you should get 8.13 meters. And this positive 8.13 meters it means that it was 8.13 meters in the air, which means it's above the bar, so it is not it doesn't score. So we need to give, write that as a conclusion. 8.13 is higher than top bar, so goal not scored.